Oh my god, hey, hello, hi, me, who, me, going to Air One. I'm in LA, back in the place where I feel I truly belong, with my significant other this time, so that we can convince him that we should maybe buy a place out here, just something, just a little something on the water. First stop, landing in LA is Air One. If you remember last time I was in LA, I got their quinoa sushi. It's so good. So we landed and straight to Air One we went and something devastating happened. There wasn't any quinoa sushi and the sweet woman making all the sushi said, I will make it for you. So I have my sushi. I did eat on the plane. I took dry oats onto the plane, and here's the hack for you. Buy instant oats, and then when you're on the plane and they ask you what you would like to drink, you ask for one cup of hot water and one empty cup. Then you take the oats, you put them into the cup, you put the hot water into the cup, you cover it, and then you have oatmeal. And then you land and you get the quinoa sushi. So. I'm going to enjoy my quinoa sushi. Rice paper, nori, quinoa, avocado, carrot, cucumber, purple, red cabbage, I believe. And then later we're going to get dinner with Michaela and Ellen, of course. So until then, let's enjoy this. Is it gonna be as good as I remember it? Probably. This brings me back to such a good time, bub. My last trip when I came and visited Ellen and Michaela. You know, somebody commented on my YouTube channel and they were like, you should try to remake this, you know, yourself if it was so good. And there's something about when somebody else makes food for you that just hits different. So we flew into LA, it's Thursday. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna drive down to Laguna Beach because we went to Laguna Beach last time and it is such a little magical place. And it reminds me of 2004 watching Laguna Beach, let's just be honest. We're seeing my family, my godparents, live in the area. So we're going to see them on Saturday morning for breakfast. And then we leave Sunday. It's a really quick trip. We like weekend trips. We're both workaholics. And we love what we do so much that we don't really like to be away from it too much. I love my clients, I love everything that I do with working with my clients in the Slim On Starch program and being away is, it's hard for us to be away. So a long weekend is perfect for us and it's just enough time for me to convince him that Oh, I wanted to talk about this too. So our flight was delayed. We got in later than expected. Our room wasn't ready and I was very hungry and so was my significant other and we have dinner reservations at 6 45 and we were getting closer and closer to the dinner reservations and i said i know that we have dinner reservations but i have to eat i'm i'm super super hungry and yeah it might throw off my dinner reservation level of hunger but the thing to know about travel and life in general is that it's messy and there's no such thing as perfect hunger or perfect fullness and so the fact that i'm eating before we go to dinner and not too long that could throw somebody off so much because it interrupts how hungry they should be for dinner. But who, who told you that? Who told you that you have to be at a certain level of hunger? Who told you that you can't eat right before you go to dinner? My body needs food right now, so I'm gonna give it food. And then when we go to dinner, we're gonna be with my friends, we're gonna enjoy a good time. I'll eat as much as I need to. If I feel I don't need all of it, I can take it with me. Not making such a big deal about setting the expectations of what your hunger and fullness should be at certain times and allowing life to be a little bit messy sometimes. Just like, <laughs> this is getting messy. This is the first video of a four part video series because I was in California for four days and I filmed everything that I ate when I was there. So today you are seeing what I ate while I was traveling cross country from Boston to LAX, what I ate that day and what I ate that night when we arrived there. And then in the next three videos, I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm eating on days two, three, and four, but also I'm going to be providing with you pre-vacation tips, 
on vacation tips and post vacation tips so that you can still enjoy yourself on vacation and maintain or reach your health goals. Traveling, seeing new places. This is one of my favorite things to do. So it's very important to me that I am able to maintain my integrity with my health goals and my health priorities while still doing what I love, which is to travel, see new places, explore, bop around. So please make sure that you are subscribed so that you can Tune in for parts two, three, and four, where I show you everything that I ate while I was on vacation in California, as well as give you my tips. And throughout this entire trip, I did not have access to a kitchen, nor am I relying on any of the food that I brought. The only thing that I did bring was dry oats for the plane. Everything else I am getting at a restaurant. So stay tuned. I am able to stay fit and healthy while eating at restaurants while I travel. We are at... Gracias Madre, all vegan, vegan Mexican. Good morning. It's now Friday morning. Last night we went to Gracias Madre. By the way, I'm barefaced. Hope you like me as I am. We went to Gracias Madre last night with Michaela and Ellen. And what I love about Gracias Madre is it's all vegan, which is fantastic. But the transparency of this restaurant is stellar. They post the entire ingredients list for all of their menu items online. So before I went, I went onto the menu and you know, I don't do oil. I don't, I like to keep my food whole and natural. And if I can get it without oil, if I can get it whole food plant-based while I'm traveling, then of course I'm going to, if we're going to be going to the beach and walking around and I want to feel good. And I was able to find on their menu, they had these jackfruit tacos. And first off, your girl loves tacos, so we know that. But I looked at the ingredients list and they didn't have any oil. And I was like, did they just forget to put that on there? Because if you go to a vegan restaurant, it almost always is going to be vegan junk food, which is not a bad thing when it comes to the ethics and not harming animals. But when it comes to health, Oreos are vegan, Pepsi's vegan. So vegan junk food can still be not health promoting. And I called them and I said, can you ask the chef if there really is no oil in the jackfruit tacos? And she went and asked the chef and indeed there was no oil in the jackfruit tacos. So I got the jackfruit tacos and they were delicious. They were so good. I got it with a side of beans. And then Michaela and Ellen got nachos and the toppings on the nachos were really stellar ingredients. Again, there was nothing deep fried. The chips themselves are deep fried, but I wanted to try the toppings on the nachos. They had this cashew nacho cheese that was just made from cashews and nutritional yeast. Really, really great ingredients, minimally processed. And so I tried the, they had this walnut taco meat. So I tried the toppings on the nachos. I didn't have the chips because I didn't want to feel like garbage, but that was delicious as well. So we had a delicious vegan dinner and caught up with Michaela and Ellen. I just realized I forgot to mention that I also got a side of black beans and an extra side of corn tortillas just because there was going to be other food around and like to pick the corn tortillas and put some more beans in it. And so I, I did get that as well. So I got three tacos. I got a few more corn tortillas and I got a bunch of beans and I feel so good waking up this morning and heading down to Laguna and their corn tortillas. Cause I know corn tortillas. Those are a hundred percent made in house fresh every day. They were so thick chef's kiss. And yes, there wasn't as many vegetables as I would have liked to have on a normal basis, but this is traveling and you're not going to get as many vegetables when you're traveling, which is totally fine because I know that when I get home, I'm going to be back on my veggie game, eating more vegetables. But while I'm here getting in whole food, plant-based food that makes me feel good and energized and is special is great. If I were in weight loss mode, I wouldn't eat those tacos every single day because they are more calorically dense. There's the guacamole, there was the corn tortillas, there were a lot of ingredients in there, there's the beans, so it was a more calorically dense meal. So if you are looking to lose weight, don't eat those every day. If you're in weight maintenance like me, then it's totally fine. 
So as you can see here on the Gracias Madre website, by the way, this is not, this looks like this is a sponsored video. It's totally not. <laughs> this is just me being me. And down at the bottom here, so incredible. They have this button that says allergy information. So I clicked this button and as you can see, they have a full ingredients list for everything that's on their menu. And if you scroll down the list, you can see, which is the case with almost all restaurants, that they almost always use oil. When you're eating at restaurants, to find something that doesn't have oil is quite rare. And I was so, so pleased to find that the jackfruit tacos, if I pull them up, you will see are made without oil. So as you can see right here, we have the jackfruit tacos and no oil to be found. Um, pretty much everything else on the menu does have oil added, but I saw this and I actually called them to make sure because a lot of times oil is an implied ingredient. So if you are looking on a menu and you look at a salad for an example, and they have written roasted vegetable salad made with greens, zucchini, and broccoli and they list everything they won't tell you that it's been cooked in oil but almost always it is cooked in oil or even something like butter so i encourage you to not only seek out the ingredients list for what it is that you're having but also to advocate for yourself and to be your own best advocate and call the restaurant and say i don't consume oil can you please talk with the chef and confirm or deny whether or not the vegetables in this dish are prepared with any oil. And sometimes they'll say that there's a little bit of oil, but not too much. But the reality is that a little bit of oil goes a very long way. So I encourage you to advocate for yourself, to call up the restaurant, to ask about how the vegetables are prepared and what it is that you're having and be fearless in doing so because you deserve to be happy and healthy and know what you're putting into your sacred body and you should never feel ashamed for wanting to put high quality fuel into your body so let this be the sign that you should advocate for yourself be your number one fan the number one person who's going to stand up for you and say this is what I do this is how I eat I put high quality fuel in my body can you please confirm or deny whether or not this food is prepared with oil either way is okay if you just let me know and now now we are headed to go house hunting. No, we're headed to Laguna Beach and we're gonna have a great time there today. We're gonna stop at Air One before we go because I love Air One so much. And we'll catch you there. Woo!